Hi there everybody, I'm Rhonda. If you're new to my channel, I create videos uh, with easy tips, fun tools, and lots of inspiration to help you turn your creativity into profit using the power of AI. I also operate the Prompts and Profits Design Club, a community where I share daily AI-powered prompts for trending designs, um, creative strategies, and tips to boost sales of your digital products. If that sounds like something you'd be interested in, I'll leave a link in the description below so you can check it out, and I would love to see you there. So, without wasting any more time, let's get started. In this video, I am going to show you our new clip art prompt generator. Okay, if you do any uh, clip art generation, you know sometimes you get stuck with what to make. Okay, you have a subject in mind, but you don't know what to do with it. All right, well, my new clip art prompt generator uh, is the perfect tool for that, okay? So I'm just gonna show you real quick how to use it and um, run some sample generation so you can see what kind of output we're getting with it and then give you uh, some tips to make the creation even faster. All right, so here we are in the clip art prompt generator at ChatGPT. This is a custom GPT. And I have some ideas in mind, but I just don't know what to do with them. So I am just going to put in basic, really, really basic information in here. Okay, I am going to do a bicycle and that's it I'm just gonna type in bicycle and let this do its job okay and it will give us a prompt so we can copy this and along with the prompt it's also gonna give you a breakdown of what it did uh, style medium is delicate watercolor painting subject vintage bicycle with a wicker basket Scene is grassy hill with scattered wildflowers, and they put watercolor splashes, and the background is plain white. So you know exactly what is in the prompt. So then I'm gonna go over here, and I'm just gonna pop this into Mid Journey, and I'm gonna run this in a couple different generators so you can see. So this one I put in Recraft, and finally, I am going to run this in Chrome AI, which I have to tell you is one of my new absolute favorite image generators. So let's go back here. We'll start here at Mid Journey. Here is our watercolor bicycle. And they look really pretty. I like the style. Here it is in Recraft. Recraft lost it a little bit on the white background. It's giving us a lot more in the background than I expected. And then we have Prome, which I think is my favorite of these this morning. All right, so there's one. And let's go back over here and let's stick with the spring outdoorsy theme. How about um, a picnic basket? Again, we're just giving it complete basic uh, subjects. That's it, nothing more, all right? And again, we will get prompt and we'll come over here and we will paste it in so we can see what we're gonna get and we'll do it here in craft and in Chrome all right and let's go back here to mid journey and see what we're getting and that is really cute very cute And which generator you run them in is up to you. It depends on the style you like. Different generators give us different looks. 
and it's all up to you which one you like better. Again, I am really liking the Prome for this particular um, theme here, This the picnic basket, the bicycle, I'm really liking the output. And you know, there's a bunch of different styles in Prome, so you can change things up a lot. Um, let me just pick another random style and run this bread the picnic basket prompt again so you can see that you can change the look just by picking a different style now this one isn't too different and we also have version one versus version two um, let's go to illustration and just pick any of these let's take this one since it is and let's see I know we get a much different style from version 1 to version 2 and this one didn't give us our white background but you can see you get different looks based on the version and the styles so you know you can play around in here and get different looks but that's irrelevant today we're talking about the uh, clip art prompt generator okay I apologize for getting sidetracked there so let's say you have these you know you have your first your bicycle here okay and you want to make uh, more uh, clip art images that would go along and pair well with this bicycle to create a set all right now you have a couple options okay if you're not sure what to do you can always go to chat gpt and ask gpt can you give me a list of items that pair well with a vintage bicycle for a clip art set all right and it will give you a list of items that would work really well with your uh, vintage bicycle okay we have suit clay suit clays flying birds balloon bouquet vintage postcard uh, basket with flowers all right um, so country fence, street signs, flower and vines, chalkboard sign, clock, and on and on, okay? Or you can keep things easy and you can go to My Designs GPT, all right? And you can paste your prompt in and then you can type in, scale this out for other items that pair well with the bicycle for a clip art bundle set. All right, and it will give you a list of prompts. Okay, we have vintage picnic basket. We have vintage suitcase, straw hat, Lace up shoes, wooden crate, thermos, camera, lantern, and it's just going to give us a bunch of fantastic prompts. Now, if you really, really, really want to um, speed up the creation process, you could take this whole list into my designs and run it through dream ai as a parallel prompt okay and just do all of these at one time in fact let me go and do that so you can see it's just one option for um, getting these clip art images quickly go to dream ai and let me paste all of these in here turn on parallel prompt 
and I am going to run this through Recraft because it does give me uh, the nicest like watercolor type thing. So we have all of these in here, two images, one to one, and I'm going to hit Dream and it is going to run all of these prompts for me at one time. And then you can just pick and choose which ones you like. I'll give that just a second to run all these. Okay, and now it generated all of our images. So what we could do now is just go through here and select the ones we like. That one. I like that one. And that one. That one, that one, that one, and you just go through and pick the ones you want, and then you can save them to your listings, and let's do, we're going to save these two. Clip art bundles, create new listings, and we can have it upscale it right here and just hit save to listings and it will save these images and upscale them for us and put them in our listings. Now, if you don't use my designs, that's no big deal. You would just come back over here to my designs GPT and grab these prompts one at a time and put them in your desired um, generator. Okay, so I ran this one through Chrome. I'm going to run this one through Recraft. And let's put it in Mid Journey as well. Here we have our vintage suitcase in Chrome. And this should pop up soon on Recraft. There we go. And that came out really cute. And on Mid Journey as well. And then you just repeat the process. Just copy and paste each one into the generator you want to use and just run them until you have gotten your whole set and then you can download them as one at a time and zip them up into a bundle and you have a bundle of clip art. But I just wanted to show you that now if you are at a loss for ideas on what kind of scenario you want to use with your images, you know, we can, you can use the clip art prompt generator and easily make different uh, clip art images um, without doing a whole lot of thinking. If you're having a block and you just don't know what you want to do, you know, this is an easy way to do it. In fact, we can do it for more than just, you know, bicycles um, and bread boxes and things like that. How about a cute little girl? And we'll just put that in there and be done. We'll see what this comes up with. Okay. Let's copy. Just gonna run it in Mid Journey and in Chrome. And you can be more specific. If you have more ideas than just the uh, subject, you can be a little more specific. Let's say, cute little girl with red hair holding a balloon. You know, you can put that in there too and then it will give you 
the scene and the background and things like that. So, you know, you are getting what you want. So here we go. This is our cute little girl with red hair holding a balloon. And let's run it over here as well. And this was our prompt from just a cute little girl, nothing else. So they gave it to the daisies. That was adorable. And this was our cute little girl with red hair holding a balloon. And this is the prompt we got, or our, the generation we got, which is adorable. And you could make an entire set of little girls holding balloons with different hair colors. You could do brown hair, blonde hair, uh, change the balloon colors. The same way with this one, you could have her holding daisies, you could have her holding sunflowers, and you could just go on and on and on and make sets from these first generations that the clip art generator gave you. Now you can expand on it. All right. So I hope you guys found this helpful. Um, take advantage of the clip art prompt generator whenever you need it. And I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you next time.